and a jolly Christmas and a holiday season to you and yours. Why and how is this age-old tradition celebrated? Stay tuned and let's explore this festive time of year. Christmas Traditions We are a few days away from enjoying Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, and in all the traditions we live in, they are deeply rooted in Christian beliefs and faith which have been transmitted for centuries from generation to generation. And therefore, sometimes it can happen that although we practice them habitually, we have forgotten somehow what is their true meaning, origin, history, and reason for being. I invite you to take a tour and remember these beautiful practices. Christmas Origin Christmas was established on December 25th as a day of solemnity by the Catholic Church in the year 350, thanks to Pope Julius. In the Bible, however, the exact day of Jesus' birth is not mentioned. Hence, the celebration of Christmas in principle was not part of Christian traditions. The reason for setting December 25th as the date of celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ responds to the need of the Church to replace the Saturnalia traditional in ancient Rome, which coincided with the winter solstice and that it was celebrated by the so-called pagans and thus facilitated the acceptance of Christianity. The Christmas tree is based on the myth of the Tree of Life of Norse mythology. This myth was used by Saint Boniface in the 8th century, an evangelizer of Germany who introduced Christian worship among the peoples of Northern Europe. Initially, it consisted of an evergreen pine or evergreen, which symbolized the eternal love of God, and it was adorned with apples that reminded the original sin, and candles that represented the light that Christ brought to the world. Today, apples have been replaced by balls and candles by lights. Tradition indicates that it should be adorned during Advent. The birth, also called nativity scene, manger, or portal, is the representation of the birth of Jesus. The first representations date from the 5th century and were with real people, although it is considered that one of the most important drivers for its popularization was St. Francisco of Assisi. The purpose of the birth is to remind people of the humble circumstances in which Jesus was born in Bethlehem. The traditional thing is to put a birth at home with Joseph and Mary in the center and the scene witnessing the arrival of Christ. Meaning of the characters in the manger. Child Jesus. This is the central character and is the son of God and redeemer of humanity. He is the one who brings light to the world. Virgin Mary symbolizes fidelity, purity, and love. San Jose represents strength and obedience. Magi kings, Gaspar, Balthazar, and Melchor symbolize wisdom, they bring gifts to Jesus, and they reveal the divine nature of Jesus. The star of Bethlehem symbolizes the faith and hope that guides the lives of Christians. Decorating with Christmas Eve flowers. The poinsettia is a plant with carmine red leaves which was originally used by the Mexica in Mexico, in rituals as a symbol of the purity and new life of the dead warriors. But in the 19th century, Joel Robert Poinsett, a U.S. diplomat based in Mexico, discovered and exported it to the United States, where it was popularized and extended to the rest of the world as a Christmas ornamental plant due to the similarity of its colors. What is the Advent wreath? The Christmas wreath or Advent wreath is a Christian symbol that announces the passing of the four weeks of Advent and the arrival of Christmas. It is characterized by being a crown made with pine or spruce branches and having four candles. The word Advent is of Latin origin and means coming. In this case, it represents the coming of Jesus Christ in the Christian faith, which is celebrated four weeks before Christmas. The origin of the Christmas wreath goes back to the pagan cults in the north of Europe, where it was customary to make a circle with branches, leaves, and on which several candles were placed. 
This circle represented the rebirth of nature after winter. It was a symbol of hope for the arrival of spring, as well as the continuous passage of the cycle of the seasons. The candles, on the other hand, were used to honor the sun god and worship him as a symbol of light, so that it does not stop illuminating the darkest and coldest days of the year, which coincides with winter in the Northern Hemisphere. Sometime later, after the evangelization of a large number of pagan people by Christians, they took and adapted the rite of the crown to explain the Christian faith and the meaning of Christmas. This is an example of the Christianization of other cultures. In the Christian tradition, the circle reflects the cycle of the seasons, the branches and leaves symbolize nature, and the candles represent the origin and source of life through light. Posadas are processions where carols are sung and candles are lit, and they end up in the house of one of the participants. The celebration can be either family or intimate, or include the neighbors and the rest of the community. It is a very popular tradition, especially in Mexico. Breaking Piñatas the piñatas arrived in the Americas during the process of evangelization. The piñata, most used by the friars, was that of seven peaks, which represented the seven deadly sins. To break it, it was necessary to use virtue and strength, the only weapons to defeat the temptations and thus obtain the rewards, or the gifts of God, which were the sweets that were inside it. Nowadays, piñatas are used in Mexico during the Christmas celebrations to remind us of this life lesson. Singing carols. Christmas carols are Christmas songs. The firsts were composed by evangelizers of the 5th century to through music tell the peasants and pastors who could not read about the birth of Jesus Christ. It is said that listening to them in Advent helps prepare our hearts for the Christmas event. The pastorellos are theatrical representations that tell the moment when the birth of baby Jesus is announced to the pastors, and they come to honor his arrival. Apart from the religious content, they are usually dressed too with humor and satirical allusions to social or political actuality. The tradition of hanging stockings in the fireplace has its origin in a legend of St. Nicholas de Bari who they say learned of a very poor man who had no dowry to marry off his daughters. St. Nicholas then secretly went into his house one day and introduced gold coins in the stockings that were drying hanging in the fireplace. Since then, it is said that the gifts that appear in the stockings are those that Santa Claus authentically puts in. Gift exchanging or secret Santa at Christmas is a way of expressing for our loved ones our love for them. The tradition, however, can be traced back to ancient Rome, where during Saturnalia festivities, gifts were offered to children at the end of celebrations. Today, the tradition of exchanging gifts serves to remember the gift that God gave us in His Son, Jesus Christ. And you? What will you give during your gift exchange? What food will you take to the posada? Hopefully now you know exactly what those yearly traditions mean or where they came from and why we celebrate them or a variation today. Happy Holidays, Learnex community.